I draw live caricatures at parties and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit of my method and how I do it but I'll be using a photo for the purposes of this video okay let's try to draw Elrond I'm gonna start off with a quick silhouette let's start with shape of the face This one's kind of tough, but I've been watching this TV show and I wanted to try and draw this, this character. So that is my sketch. If I was at a party, I would try to do that in 30 seconds or less. Now we're going to go in with the eyes. Now the eyes kind of look kind of squarish. I don't see a lot of round lines. It's kind of like I'm thinking of trying to think of the shape. It's kind of like a hexagon. So when I'm drawing the eyes, sometimes I look at the size of the pupil. This is a kind of small. I'm going to draw a little shadow. That is the highlight, the pupil, and the shadow. And now I'm going to draw the eyebrow. And the one thing I look to notice is, is the eyebrow connect with any of these lines? Or come close to connecting? If so, let's go ahead and connect it. eyebrows are kind of a lot of straight lines see I just messed up there but that's why it's a quick caricature so I read in a book somewhere that sometimes you can do spirit animals in your mind think of an animal that they may look like and actually it wasn't in a book, it was in a video series by Court Jones. And so this guy kind of looks like an eagle to me. Brow, nose, and then the bend where the nose starts. Now over here I'm going to draw the other eye, and it's also sort of a hexagonal shape. The leg. Eye, right here, and then it comes off a little bit another straight line. I'm always looking for opportunities to draw straight lines, straighter, and uh, then there's, later on there's going to be opportunities to make round lines. I read that somewhere in um, like the Disney World artists, when they did cartoons way back in the day, they would try to combine straights and curves. So I, if, they, if it's good for them, I try to work it for me too. So I got the highlight, the pupil, and a shadow in there. Now the wrinkle underneath. And this eyebrow is touching the eye. Almost. And I, here's another thing I'm looking for is I'm not just drawing the eyebrow, but I'm looking for this shape, empty shape underneath. I'm looking at the photo. I'm looking at that empty shape. Sort of like that. I'm using these straight lines to fill in the eyebrows. There's a dimension line. That's where the, the skin bends, but it's, it's not a hard line because you don't need it. And then the nose is kind of a little pyramid. There's a lot of triangle shapes in there. Nostril. The nostril is 
the other side it's kind of a three-quarter view that that's why this nostril is smaller now there's a huge divot first of all the entire space to the chin the mouth is closer to the chin so I'm gonna make it even closer but first off there's a huge divot here make sure I show that and then the lip is a shape now, I'm not gonna draw him smiling because I mean at a party I would draw him smiling but now I'm just gonna draw him sort of like the photo because it's kind of cool then um, the chin the chin is kind of big and protruding Also the brow. The brow bends pretty good here and I can get to find it a little bit with a wrinkle. Now let's get out the, the big marker. And I'm gonna start with the chin. I'm not drawing exactly what I see now, I'm just kind of exaggerating. I feel like his chin sticks out a little bit, and so I'm gonna try to exaggerate that without ruining the perspective. I think I just did ruin it, <laughs> but that's why it's practiced. So you've got the brow, then you've got a pronounced cheek. Then, it, then we finish to the chin. And on this side, there's a pronounced cheek also. Okay, then we have the forehead. And there's like a widow, a huge widow's peak here, very wide. And of course you've got elf ears. I'm just trying to use one smooth line. And you got the jaw that finishes. And yeah, I want a bold, smooth line. And now here's the cool part is his hair. Let me adjust the camera because I may want to go higher than what this camera will allow. He's got a very high hair up here. My hair, I'm going bald up here. So it's, a, it's much different than my hair. So you can always compare what you're drawing to something else and that will help you give it give you a perspective so we've got these lines here and then they curve around and the curve changes and then you got then you can see underneath this is sort of like a wave that's breaking and you can see these hairs underneath not going off camera but then we'll draw ear on the other side but I'm trying to be careful to make sure that they are even now I'm looking in the camera it looks like a box. I'm going to make sure that you can see that. Then there's a couple lines here to show the his cloak. Now I'm going to put this long lid on so I don't make a mess and draw some of these small hairs to show the direction of the hair. I 
want to try to be messy. I used to be real messy where lots of these little lines crisscrossed each other and um, I had a teacher once tell me that it was kind of messy that way so I wanted to clean that up. Make sure nothing overlaps or crisscrosses. And there's my sketch. Let's try to amp it up with a little bit of gray. Just to give it more dimension. Some eyebrows. Shadow under the chin. Shadow in the ears. Now I've got a, a lighter gray. This is gray 20%. Shadow under the brow. Shadow under the eyes. Usually a shadow in this corner by the eye and the and the nose. Shadow under the eyes. Top lip is usually the one in the most shadow. Here's a shadow line that's really important for his face. Kind of unique. Some shadow over here, shadow there, and bada boom, bada bing. I have a little sketch of Elrond from the Rings of Power. That's it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to see me draw anything. Thanks. I did cheat a little bit before I started this video. I drew a few thumbnail sketches. I definitely need the practice. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see me drawing in one. Thanks.